What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, my youngins? I got good news. Good news on no jumper. And I want to talk about it. I want to talk about this young in DW Flame, but I got a mention for Brick Baby. But before OG get into this, let him get out of this old country driveway. And y'all hit that ticket time, hit that like button. Respectfully comment. But we're going to talk about this, man to man. Subscribe. And OG got his cash out back, man. OG take all donations. Best kicks 55. Hey, man, y'all help OG out. Y'all know he's trying to get the Huntsville next month. But now check this out. Adam 22. Made the fatal mistake. And try to yarn it. That he is from the streets. I'm going to tell you, I all, listen, I'm going to come for you if you playing it weak, but I'm going to stand for you if you coming hard and strong. Hey, Adam tried to play with old boy. Called him, uh, uh how did he say that? Because I watched the episode because I couldn't believe it. Uh, you know, so many words, D.W. Flame, as like a, a B ninja. Did that flame? Couldn't believe it. Honestly, being non-violent like I am, but it's a different code in the street. Adam Pope got hit in the mouth, but that's his boss, and he must respect the platform and must always promote non-violence. But now check this out. He got up and he walked off the set. And I want to tell y'all young, that's how you handle it. That's all OG been talking about. Y'all cannot allow Adam 22 and no jumper to show a whole different narrative to y'all generation that he's trying to do. This, this, this gay play. You got to stand up for it, Greg, baby. You sat there befuddled and you really acted like you. I saw a glimpse of D.W. Flame and Brick Baby when Adam 22 was asking him about if D.W. Flame serious and he was like, yeah, some guys just don't play that. I'm one of them guys. I don't do, I don't do the mocking no um, people's sexual preference. I'm a man. I'm an alpha male. I don't play gay. I don't do that. I ain't got nothing against it, but I don't have nothing for it, including conversation. That's got to stop on no jump. I'm proud of that youngin', man. He put his principles before his bread, y'all. Now, I do know that he has his own pop podcast on no jumper. And all content is good content when it comes to no jumper. Hey, we talking about a white guy that let a bunch of black guys play with his wife and film it. So, it, all content is good content for Adam. I'm saying to this young black man, I appreciate that BW Flame. And I mean that from the bottom of my OG heart. And yeah, I'm OG and a lot of them don't like it because I'm a reflection of y'all. I just made it through the storms and I want y'all to make it through. And ain't no white man sitting up here gonna keep manipulating y'all and get y'all thinking that that little bit of money is worth y'all principles in life. Selling out to no platform whether it be a white man or a black man, male or female, y'all hold true to your code. Be a man. That's all you have to be is a man. You don't have to be no, no super thug, no superman, but you got to have codes of conduct to live by. And Adam 22 doesn't, and he doesn't respect us. Either. He doesn't respect the black culture. And that's his problem. It's, it's like a joke to him, you know? He doesn't respect the culture. He doesn't. He doesn't respect the black. I just don't believe he respects the black man, period. I think it's all about uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That's all it is about him and a great time. Y'all got to realize, Adam 22 come from money. He come from the birds. He ain't never been hungry. 
He ain't never been homeless. If he had, he had a choice. If he was homeless, he had a choice. He ain't suffer for nothing. You got guys sitting on your platform, you paying less than 1% of the annual revenue that you bring in, and you want them to sell you their soul. And DW Flame said, hell no. And Brick Baby was close, and it's common. I see the light in the eyes. I saw Brick Baby's look. When Adam tried to play it down like, is it that big a deal? And Brick Baby like, yeah, calling a, 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 a black man a BN is a very, very big deal. Where we from? Very. More than you will ever know and that you got away with it, Adam. Know this. You got away with it. But I appreciate DW Black. And I appreciate the light that I saw in, in Brick Baby. We're going to be reflective and we're going to run right into <laughs> Sex Red. Now, mind you, every generation of female rappers, they always had certain genres. You had the ones that sold sex. You had the ones that sold the street life. You had ones like Queen Latifah that had the message. You had the bread that was so, so quantified and cold. But we got a different breed of female, I guess, rap out here. She goes and represents her brand and her children's brand because whatever she has is for her children and I know why she grinding. But I ask you this, Sexy Red. Who taught you it's okay to smell like gas, no brakes, at a middle or elementary school like that and act like you don't understand why they told you you can't speak. So you go outside the school and twerk. Once again, no matter what happens, even public humiliation, that black woman just ain't gonna take accountability and responsibility for her own actions. It is no way on God's green earth y'all gonna tell me sexy red didn't didn't know not to go to that school or something like that. That she couldn't do it early that morning and then go take a shower and get fresh and go go see her fans. That's what's appropriate, sexy red. Nobody's saying you inappropriate because you smoke cannabis or anything else. It's your behavior for it. That's causing the problem. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button, respectfully comment. We can talk about this without the disrespect. Appreciate you, DW Flame, Brick Baby. I got hope for no jumper. I'm out.